Hi everyone, it's David from Tackle Share, and I am here at the OFH Mario Cordellucci Hunting and Fishing Heritage Center to do the next video in our All About Fish Species series. So I'm going to make my way around the beautiful warm water wall and show you which one we're going to talk about today. We are going to talk about the common carp way up top that is the Ontario record that is why it's so enormous so let me get set up and we'll talk about all about common carp so the common carp is a large deep bodied fish again very large fish relative to some of the smaller ones it's a deep body top to bottom the color can vary from silver to olive green so in this case it's kind of an olive green with some yellow in it and then a lighter belly underneath is another characteristic so it's got a pinkish uh, orangish red underside on this particular one and then it has a single dorsal fin so one single dorsal fin the whole length as opposed to some other species that have two and of course it's got its very obvious whiskers or barbels so if I can get the white background right there, you can see the barbel, one on each side of the fish is another con uh, key characteristic of common carp. Common carp live in warm, shallow, weedy lakes and rivers along the bottom of clear and murky waters. So they're a bottom feeder. They're gonna be along the bottom um, for their whole uh, existence. Their spawning patterns, from late spring to early summer when water temperatures reach 17 degrees Celsius. So a little bit sooner than some of the panfish that we have talked about before. A few females lay eggs in shallow weedy bays and are accompanied by up to 15 males. So there's some competition between the males. A single female may produce over 2 million eggs. Their diet is omnivorous. So they will eat insects, but they will also eat aquatic plants. They use their mouth to suck up a mouthful of muddy bottom, spit it out into the water, and pick out any food items from that and re-swallow them. Their diet normally consists of aquatic insects, snails, algae, wild rice, and the seeds of aquatic plants. They can live up to 20 years old and are usually 12 to 30 inches long. The Ontario Angler Award minimum length is 30 inches if you wanted to enter your big carp catch. And the Ontario record weight, which is the one right in front of us, is 41.88 pounds. So very heavy, large fish. So in order to catch a common carp, there are some different fishing tips than you would use compared to uh, trout or bluegill or bass. So the best time to catch Common carp is from late spring to early summer because they are more congregated and visible. Again, that's when they spawn and there is no restrictions in the regulations right now that um, prevent catching them during the spawning season, like other species there are. Early morning and late evening are prime fishing, but they can still be caught throughout the daytime because again, they're in the bottom of the water where it's a little bit cooler, so they can keep moving around all day long. You want to use a very strong rod with strong fishing line and a large net because these fish, they will fight and, and put up a good uh, battle, but because they can be quite heavy, if you catch a 10, 15, 20 pound common carp, you're going to need a line that can handle that and won't snap. You want to place worms, dough balls, or corn kernels directly on the bottom again, so that as they're swimming along the bottom and, and scooping up muck and spitting out what's food they're going to scoop up your worm your duo ball your corn kernel spit it back out and then go for it so you won't necessarily realize it until your strike indicator like a bobber goes down because they've got a very soft mouth so you if you're not paying attention you won't notice that they have taken your uh, bait for a little bit until your bobber starts going down. So that is helpful to have a bobber on there. So that's the all about basics of common carp. We look forward to seeing your photos with Fish Along with Taco Share of your carp catches. 
that you can submit to win prizes and take a look at the fact sheet that I've been referencing for this video and you can download it as well as fact sheets on every other species in Ontario for game fish and learn and get out there. Happy fishing!